you're going to be joining me? Am I handing you the, um, okay, you sure? Please remain standing for the national anthem.
Marshall, please seat the class of 2022. Good evening and welcome to the Hanover Theater. At this time, I would like to call Mr. Michael Hanna, the president of the class, for the welcome address. Good afternoon and welcome to the graduation ceremony of Grafton High School's class of 2022. We are very pleased to be able to gather here together at the Hanover Theater for the first time since 2019. My name is Michael Hanna and I am the senior class president. I'll be attending St. Anselm College in Manchester, New Hampshire and studying political science. First of all, I would like to thank our wonderful Grafton High School staff. Uh, I could talk for a very long time about uh, the respect that I hold for the staff here at Grafton High School. I owe much of my development as a person to a lot of different people in that building. I'd also like to thank, give a large thank you to the Grafton community as a whole, specifically local businesses and the parents of the class of 2022. Uh, these have been trying times, and yet your support of our class fundraisers made senior activities more affordable for all students. Parents, as much as this is an accomplishment for all of us students, you have raised some of the best and brightest graduates that I'm incredibly lucky to call my friends and my peers. To the class of 2022, my friends, congratulations. You have earned this through your hard work, your determination, and of course, sleep deprivation. <laughs> to those of you who don't know, I'm a pretty big history guy. So I did some history research, and according to myself, the class of 2022 will go down as the greatest class in the history of Grafton High School. That's not biased, I promise. You know, whether you hated high school and are happy to be leaving, or loved high school and are still kind of happy to be leaving, I hope you never forget the memories we made in that overcrowded building. I am truly grateful to have grown up with all of you. This past winter, I participated in the Profile and Courage competition for the Kennedy Scholarship, and while I may not have won, it did put me down a path of trying to understand what courage or acts of courage really are. In an age of comic book movies where acts of courage are defined by teaming up with Spider-Man or fighting aliens in New York City, it's important to remember how real life acts of courage can be. John F. Kennedy wrote, and I quote, the stories of past courage can teach, they can offer hope, they can provide inspiration, but they cannot supply courage itself. For this, each man must look into his own soul. Going to school during a pandemic can be classified as courage, but on every level, courage is personal. Courage is fighting for what you believe in despite the chance of personal consequences. Courage is fighting for fairness despite reminders that life is not always fair. Courage is believing in yourself despite whatever failure or inconvenience might be holding you back. Courage is engaging in a new experience despite how much that might terrify you. And courage is fighting against desperation and despair and remembering that no matter how bad it gets, it will always get better. And of course, courage is walking across this stage today and receiving the diploma you have all worked so hard for. Acts of courage happen every day. Some are noticeable and some aren't, but each and every one of you has the capacity for courage. For some reason or another, I've started reading biographies, mostly biographies about presidents or other important political figures. Not only from reading those biographies did I learn a lot about leadership, courage, and the importance of public service, but I also noticed a very common trend. Each biography spends minimal time on the childhood through education phases of life, two to four chapters at most. Now, maybe some of you can predict what I'm getting at here, 
but we all have so many blank pages left to write in our own lives, which can be fascinating and frightening at the same time. Of course, along the way, you may not know what the next chapter may bring. There may be obstacles, cracks, crevices, maybe even the occasional avalanche. But once you reach that summit, once you move that mountain, you'll know exactly what to put in those blank pages. The author Mark Twain wrote, the two greatest days in a man's life are the day that he is born and the day he finds out why. In order to learn this, you can never give up. It will take courage. Believe it or not, I'm not a mind reader. If I was, high school would have been so much easier. <laughs> Somebody like that. <laughs> However, that is not one of my many talents, so I have no way of knowing what any of you are feeling right now. But what I do know is this. I am incredibly proud of each and every one of you. I wasn't able to serve as your class president for very long, but you all made this one of the best experiences of my life in just a short amount of time. And I hope that each of you will continue to share a common goal with me. Go and move that mountain. Thank you. Celtics in six. At this time, I'd like to call up Shane Sidman, the class valedictorian. All right, here goes nothing. Good evening, fellow classmates, faculty members, families, and friends. On behalf of the class of 2022, I'd like to thank you all for being here. My name is Shane Sidman, and I greet you today as your valedictorian. I was first informed of this title a few weeks ago, and with that, that I would have to prepare a graduation speech. But I quickly realized that this endeavor was easier said than done. So naturally, I went down the YouTube rabbit hole and watched hours and hours of other valedictorian speeches. <laughs> In my search for inspiration, I found one speech that I had watched a few years ago. In this speech, a valedictorian expresses his regret at being at the top of his class. I remember my reaction to, this, uh, to hearing this was something along the lines of denial and confusion. After all, how could somebody regret being number one, regret being the best at something? With final exams finishing a few weeks ago, I've had some time to reflect on the past four years and have not only come to understand what that valedictorian was saying, but also surprisingly to find that I agree with him. When I began working towards becoming valedictorian, many free hours were filled with studying and reviewing. There's nothing wrong with this, of course, but it wasn't enough for me. I needed to get better, more consistent grades. So I began to take time from other activities to devote to studying. At first it was sleep, staying up late at night and waking up extra early. But next it was sports practices and then school lunches spent in the library. And these habits were of course unhealthy, but I always justified them by saying that it was better for my future. As I progressed through high school, I took increasingly more difficult courses and subsequently delegated more time to studying. So instead of eating dinner with my family at the dinner table, I ate in isolation so that I could study at the same time. I even forewent sports that I wanted to play because I knew that they would take up valuable time that could be used to study. Many friendships that I once held in the highest regard began to fizzle away. Friday nights were spent alone writing essays and reviewing notes instead of hanging out with friends. Soon I stopped talking to these friends altogether. I said that everything I did was better for my future, which was true. More studying got me better grades, which got me into better schools with better scholarships. But in doing so, I sacrificed the present. Throughout the past four years, I've always been working towards something greater. There was always another AP exam, another SAT problem set, or another chapter to read. Now for the first time in a long time, there's nothing left. So I've spent the past few weeks taking in the world around me and coming to understand the importance of striking a balance between the present and the future. Looking into the future, can give you perspective on what you were working towards. But living in the future can rob you of meaningful experiences in the present. There's value in doing something without working towards a, a greater goal. There's value in playing a sport without trying to get a college scholarship. There's value in spending a night out with your friends for the pure enjoyment of it. There's value in taking in the present. 
When you spend all your time living in the future, you lose sight of the little things that make life worth living. So, I can confidently stand up here today and say that although this medal is a reminder of all the time that I spent in the future, it is also a reminder of one of those little things that I'm coming to appreciate. I'm only 18 years old. We're all only 18 years old or 17. We have plenty more years to figure things out a bit more. I can't say that what I've done is a mistake, but if I could go back and do it all over again, I think I'd probably do things a bit differently. I'm thankful for what I have and what I've learned, and in the future, we'll use this knowledge to find a balance. I hope you all can learn something from what I've said. For too long, I've lived in the future. So I'm here today to enjoy the present. It is, after all, our graduation day. I wish you all the best of luck in the next chapters in your lives, and thank you. Okay, so I assume this starts our performance segment. <laughs> so uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Annika Alves. Uh, performing with me tonight uh, is Trevor Johnston on guitar and Joey Brenner, who's currently stealing a chair on piano. Nice. <laughs> Uh, we are going to be performing The Climb by Miley Cyrus.
be another mountain We're always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other side It's the climb Annika, Joe, and Trevor need no introduction. That was beautiful. At this time, I'd like to call up Maya Perowit, the class salutatorian. I am Maya and I am honored to be standing in front of you today as class salutatorian. Graduation is a time to commemorate all of the accomplishments that have been achieved by the class of 2022. With guidance and support from our high school community, we have learned how to be better students, leaders, and members of our society. Each of us is going on our own distinct path as we move on to the next chapter of our lives. However, I believe our time at Grafton will allow us to work through future challenges with humility, compassion, and perseverance. The class of 2022 has acted with humility and dignity through their time in high school. While striving to do our best, we were willing to make mistakes and use them as opportunities for personal growth. We succeeded humbly and utilized failure as motivation to work harder and learn from the people around us. The class of 2022 is also compassionate. Whether we are helping our peers when they drop a pencil or collecting money to fundraise for people suffering around the world, the class of 2022 has always been caring and empathetic towards others. We are understanding and considerate of the diverse perspectives and experiences that our peers have had and are always there to support each other. We have made a significant impact on the Grafton community through our charitable and kind-hearted nature. Finally, the class of 2022 is driven and motivated to succeed. The COVID-19 pandemic heavily impacted our sophomore and junior year of high school. However, we continue to work diligently and stay focused through this time of uncertainty. Our determination to make the most of the unpre unprecedented situation shows our ability to persevere in spite of challenging circumstances. We all still have so much to learn about the world and our role in it, but I believe that the work ethic, compassion, and humility we have shown during our time in Grafton High School will help us find success wherever we go. It has truly been an honor being a part of the class of 2022 for the past 13 years, and I wish everyone luck in their future endeavors. Thank you. Our next musical performance is from Valley Velmarugan, Rise Up by Andrew Dre. Silence isn't quiet And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And you know you feel like dying But I promise we'll take the world to Ooh, 
mountains bring it to its feet and move mountains and I'll rise up rise like the day I'll rise up in spite of the ache I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again and I'll rise up high like the waves I'll rise up I'll rise unafraid I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again for you for you for you we have each other and for that we have each other and we will rise we will rise we will rise oh oh, oh we'll rise and I, up, I like the waves all right As I sang in the lyrics, that the class of 22 can rise up against any mountain that they face. Thank you. That was beautiful, Valley, and thank you so much for making me follow you. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome again to the Hanover Theater. My name is Kevin Carney, and I'm the proud principal of Grafton High School in the class of 2022. 
I want to thank Jackie Dillon and her amazing team for these beautiful accommodations. What a wonderful place this is. On behalf of Dr. Cummings, our Grafton School Committee, our school council, board of selectmen, faculty and staff in attendance today, we congratulate you, the class of 2022, for reaching this amazing milestone in your life, commencement day. Often viewed as the completion of your elementary and secondary school education requirements, commencement day by definition really means the beginning, the start of your new chapter in life. So to all of the parents, guardians, grandparents, family and friends, clergymen and clergywomen, coaches, advisors, and educators in attendance today, thank you for developing these 231 students and preparing them for either their desired careers or for their post-secondary studies and pursuit of their eventual desired careers. Three of our students have chosen not to become civilians. Rihanna Gilgius, Brandon No and Xavier Shaw have chosen to put their needs of their country before their personal desires or needs and have been accepted into the United States Army and National Guard. Rihanna, Brandon and Xavier, thank you for your selflessness and for placing our needs ahead of your own. You are special people and we thank you for the service that you're about to provide. We have 33 students who have opted to enter into full-time employment after today with plans of continuing education and training and we wish them well in their future endeavors. 195 graduates have chosen to enroll into full-time college or universities to earn post-secondary degrees. And it is important to note that this group earned over 900 higher education acceptance letters. This is certainly a testament to the hard work that you've put into your education over the past 12 years, and we're so proud that you'll be continuing on your journey. This rings true to a common theme that we're hearing tonight. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, how does the rest go? You could miss it. It's a timeless quote for the 1986 movie hit, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, that seems to have as much meaning today as it did 36 years ago, when lead character Matthew Broderick coined the phrase to remind us of how to live for today. Make the most of your moments, most of your moments in time, and do not lose sight of what matters most, the experiences that we share in our relationships. Now, for whatever reason, this movie found newfound life with our class of 2022. You would hear students reciting quotes in the hallways and in the commons. You would see references to the film and the videos that students created themselves. And you would overhear the occasional, you haven't seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off? <laughs> Olivia Buffoni even chose the life moves pretty fast line as her yearbook quote. And while Olivia claimed rights to it in print, the quote will remind me of all of you for many years to come. These past two years provided you with adversity expectations that teenagers have not had to endure since the early 1900s. That said, you channeled your energy to be positive and excited for the moments ahead of you for your senior year. From day one in August, you centered your focus on coming back together and making your final nine months at Grafton High School a memory book that you'll carry for a lifetime. Life does move pretty fast, but you figured out that relationships are not dependent on a calendar, or geography for that matter. I ask that you take your value for relationships and teach the world a thing or two when your next chapter in life begins in adulthood. You have something special, special characteristics that we desperately need right now. We have this belief that the formative years of education are to prepare you to live in the society that awaits you. That schools are this microcosm of how people coexist in the world. I think we need to start looking at things a bit differently, maybe in reverse. In many ways, I think society should work to mirror how you live. As a collective whole, you have a moral compass with unquestionable interest and energy to help others in need. You have a high value for acceptance and inclusiveness. 
You have a value for togetherness, relationships, and teamwork. You have integrity. You stand true to who you are, and you're not afraid to express your convictions. You have a flexible mindset. You may have convictions, but you're also open-minded to allow your opinions to change. You have curiosity about different perspectives. You have adaptability and resiliency. We don't need to get into why. Lastly, you have the ability to live in the moment, to slow things down when you, need to slow, when you need things to be slowed down to put life in perspective. You have the ability to make people laugh when the laugh is needed. There were days that I personally had a rough start, and, and sometimes rough starts need the help of others so there isn't a rough finish. Members of this class had an innate ability to notice those days with me, and they forced the laugh. Thank you for this. I appreciate it more than you can imagine. These characteristics that you epitomize as a class are exactly what the world needs right now. Generations that come before the next line always send a call for help to the generation that follows. One of our calls to you is to help us come together again. The elder generation's problem right now is our over-focus over on what separates us rather than what brings us together. Help us to focus on the positivity of relationship building again. Help us to slow our world down to feed opportunities for new and better relationships. You have what it takes, I know it, because you live in the moment and you value relationships. In 1992, I selected a yearbook quote that I thought personified who I was. It was from a blockbuster movie back in 1986. It may have been the same movie that I referenced a few moments ago. <laughs> the problem is that that may have been how I lived at 18, but I haven't, it hasn't been a part of me for the past 30 years. When I think about it, I've lived my adult life through the lens of binoculars. Shane alluded to that. What does the, what does the next five years look like has been a constant focus. As you age, though, you realize that decades pass like singular years. And if you aren't careful, you, forgot, you forget to stop and look around once in a while. Over the past 24 months, however, you've reminded me of who I was and who I can be again. So if you can have an impact on me, I know that you can have an impact on the boomers, my fellow Gen Xers, and even some millennials. Help us to look around once in a while, smell the roses, and to build our greatest need, relationships. I have been honored and privileged to be your principal, and I'm so very proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2022. I have no doubt that you'll do great things. At this time, I would like to have our superintendent of schools, Dr. Jay Cummings, and vice chair of the school committee, Mrs. Amy Marr, join me to, or join me for the conferring of diplomas. You gonna help me out, right, girl? Brandon Kutch, no. <laughs> Xavier David Shaw. Class valedictorian, Shane Joseph Sidman.
Class Salutatorian, Maya Minesh Parot. The Class Honor, Ivan Wang. Class President, Michael Philip Hanna. <laughs> Vice President, Annalisa Kayla Utsen. <laughs> Secretary, Sydney Elizabeth Matuzek. Treasurer, Sophia Hillestrom. <laughs> Farida Yasir Farouk Abdelatif. <laughs> Declan Bennett Adams. Jose Salvador Aldana Pla. Samuel Joseph Altavilla. Annika Lee Alves. Emily Madeline Anderson. Joshua Arancivia. Mackenzie Lee Bacon. Justin Christopher Bagley. Gabriella Maria Baker. Shane David Baker. <laughs> Annabelle Balog de Galanta. Grace Adrina Balanzelli. <laughs> Devin John Baraban. Helen Elizabeth Barber. <laughs> Kathleen Patricia Barbosa. Isha Bachu. Talia Rose Bosile. Kai Robert Berlanger. Mason Francis Benoit. John Vincent Bergenholtz. Alex James Bergeron. Chloe Marie Bergeron. Matthew Eric Biddle. Emma Grace Bodges. Congratulations. 
Zachary Michael Bouvier. Michaela Lynn Bowman. Ryan William Bowman. Jelaine Karen Brenner. Joseph Elliot Brenner. Nathaniel James Briggs. Kate Elizabeth Broad. Kira Reagan Brown. Olivia Melissa Buffoni. Bridget Catherine Burke. Kira Skyler Butler. Kira Buzosh. Nicole Rose Burns. Caitlin Margaret Cahill. Alonzo Richard Carpenter Hill. Riley Elizabeth Cass. Stephanie Marie Catalano. <laughs> Valerie Elizabeth Kaya. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth Schwang. <laughs> Frank Dante Ciccone. Isabel Grace Clements. Congratulations. Alexander Ryan Corbett. Brandon Russell Cortez. Elizabeth Faye Cross. Emily Marie Crossan. <laughs> Kylie Grace Crowley. Grace Mary Cummings. <laughs> Veda Dave. Zachary Bryant Davidson. Zoe Elizabeth Davis. Rory Robert Deans. Congratulations. Cassandra Jean DeBleek. Congratulations. 
Gemma Joy De Pasquale. Congratulations! <laughs> My first part. Cora Talese Deschano. Congratulations. Colin Matthew DeVoe. Congratulations, Cora. Tyler Robert Diamond. Alex John Dion. Congratulations. Callum Luke Donaher. Congratulations. Colin Joseph Donahue. Congratulations. Haley Grace Durazio. Michaela Hayden Serenity Drago. Evan Douglas Duchar. Paige Scarlett Dumphy. Caitlin Sarah Dunn. Jack Roy DePlessy. <laughs> Eric Michael DeSalt. Evan Robert DeSalt. Lakshita Dutta. Caitlin Ann Fairhurst. Kylie Jo Fenton. Congratulations. Kira Elise Fondell. Jonathan Michael Fields. Good job. Anna Mary Fiore. Michael William Fiore. Congratulations. Helena Marie Furlings. Nicholas Antonio Flores. Anna Natalie Flynn. Noah Glenn Fournier. Colin Thomas Frank. Sonia Barbashov. Congratulations. Srijith Gomatum. Congratulations. Jada Lynn Gonzalez. Congratulations. Isabella Penelope Grandinetti. Congratulations. Kaylee Page Grosha. David Armando Gerard the Third. Congratulations. Michaela Rose Guerrero. Congratulations. Jacob Orion Gulledge. Congratulations. Gabriel Vincent Grinian.
Margot Goodyear Gurney. Congratulations. John Nicholas Hamawi. Congratulations. Caitlin Amy Faye Hamilton. Robert Eugene Hammer. <laughs> Devin Michael Hannigan. Congratulations. Sierra Morgan Hannigan. <laughs> Clea Hariclea Harper. Tanner Jared Hartwell. Congratulations. Reed Emerson Henson. Congratulations. Madeline Ruth Hernandez. Congratulations. Adam Hillerstrom. Abigail Grace Highs. <laughs> My three Indraganti. <laughs> Nicole Catherine Isquierdo. Sean Ryan Jackson. Marcella Yaya. Trevor Carl Johnston. Daphne Joven. Sarong Milland Kale. Congratulations. Alexa Rose Calio. Congratulations. Arnav Kapoor. Congratulations. Koshal Kasina. Gerald Aaron Kaufman. Peyton Jane Kiter. Nevin Patrick Kelly. <laughs> Isabel Tehi Kim. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Kimball. <laughs> Gabriella Louise Klumpenar. Marshall Enman Knowlton. Amber Jean LaCumfra. Congratulations. 
Priscilla Princess Lamb. Matthew Edward Lambert. Congratulations. Douglas James Landry. Christian Dan Lee. Richard Arthur Leach III. Daniel Jack Lettery. Aliana Taylor Lewis. Narina Anna Carla Loftus Fossil. Rachel Marie Sylvia Lucas. Jillian Kathleen Lukasevich. Finbar James Mahoney. Milena Milagros Mahoney. Sean Scott Manning. Ainsley Elizabeth Marr. AJ Martinath. Elizabeth Trinity Mayo. <laughs> Mackenzie Amelia McAvey. <laughs> Quinlan Phillips McCarthy. <laughs> Samantha Ann McCarthy. Nicholas Michael McClements. Chase Patrick McHugh. Charles Joseph McMahon. Abigail Lindy McClaws. Austin Pierce Miller. Connor Matthew Miller. Erica Fraxetti Moy. Madison Marie Mulligan. Zoe Elizabeth Mumford. Kaden Sarah Murphy. Jaden Daniel Naff. Vedant Nitin Nike. Carolyn Ann Nolan. Congratulations. 
Patrick James O'Connor. Reagan Starr O'Malley. Dante Francis O'Neill. Taylor Gabrielle Austin. Rohan Ahmad Paranjape. Mariko C. Parton. Ashna K. Patel. Tori Michaela Palaskis. Chasey Marie Pepin. <laughs> Devin Douglas Petrozelli. <laughs> Dominic David Petrozelli. <laughs> Miranda Rain Pettigrew. <laughs> Jeffrey Andrew Phillips. <laughs> Lindsay Julia Peel. Scott Cameron Popolo. Arjun Ramesh. <laughs> Rohan Ramesh. <laughs> Kevin George Roctus. <laughs> Nathan Scott Remillard. Brendan Michael William Richardson. Christian Jose Rivera Sierra. Joshua Emery Bulu Roberts. Caroline Elizabeth Rocco. Mora Kathleen Rocco. Jaden Rodriguez. Francis Jose Rosales Serrano. Zachary Richard Rosati. Catherine Grace Rosine. Shreya Roy.
Miles William Richlick. Andrew Christopher Samaha. Jack Whitley Scales. Ryan Michael Schappa. Hannah Lee Seidman. Navya Gopal Shanoi. George Glayback Slonina. Megan Marie Spargo. Garrett Nolan Springer. Daniel Joseph Springob. Ryan Christopher Springob. Jade Marley St. Ange. Anna Moran Sullivan. Shannon Tang. Alexander Scott Taylor. Ava Tala Temori. Brooke Cecile Thiru. Matthew David Thomas. Yeah. Abby Faye Thornton. Yeah. Ryan Jacob Tierney. Yeah. Jenna Marie Toskus. Timothy Colton Turner. <laughs> Vali Velmarugan. <laughs> Nicholas Joseph Viennes. <laughs> yeah, Nick. Congratulations. Marcus Joseph Vinicombe. Jace Zachary Walker. <laughs> Liam Thomas Matthew Walsh. <laughs> Zane Christopher Waters. <laughs> Annabelle Constance Weber. Ava Catherine Whitney. Carlton Dean Williams. Joseph Michael Waslow. Justin Brandon Yip. Orion Hunter Young. Catherine Summers Estani. And 
finally, Olivia Noel Zinkowski. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022.